Oberbürgermeister Roth, Direktor Hollein, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I don't believe in art that doesn't force its way to the surface through man's need to open his heart. All art, literature and music must be created from the artist's lifeblood. Art is our lifeblood. These words by Edward Munch reveal an artist who refused to compromise. Edward Munch helped us to recognize ourselves as individuals. To see ourselves as full-blooded men and women with a full range of emotions and feelings. Happiness and sorrow. Pain, passion, jealousy, love, hate, Melancholy, despair, frustration, fear, loneliness, and a sense of belonging. He enabled us to acknowledge, at least to ourselves, the truth about our lives, even our innermost secrets. Edvard Munch didn't take the easy path. He trained a lens on the soul of the individual. But first, he directed it at himself, mercilessly investigating his inner depths. The image of a lens is apt in this context. As this unique exhibition shows, Munch was an active photographer and filmmaker. In addition to presenting several of Edward Munch's most famous paintings, the modern eye also addresses some of his less known artistic sides and includes forgotten treasures, drawings, sketches, sculptures. It shed new lights over his work and may help us understand him better. Germany was Edward Munch's second home. He stayed here for several years, spent his summers in Warnemunde and returned many times throughout his life to Germany. Here, Edward Munch found recognition, challenges, friendships, and inspiration. This was where here he ex experienced his breakthrough as an artist and won international acclaim. But he wasn't accepted straight away. In 19, 1892, his first exhibition in Berlin gave him an equivocal reputation as der Fallmunk. He sold almost no paintings, but made good money on the ticket sales, as everybody was curious to see the scandalous painter and his distasteful work. 120 years later, we are gathered today at Schenkunsthalle. We're celebrating a painter who put the individual at center stage, who showed us what it means to be human in all our complexity. A painter who has inspired artists all over the world with his timeless work. This 120 years long journey is worth bearing in mind when we look at and judge contemporary art. Before closing, I would like to acknowledge the Saint Pompidou, the Schoen Kunsthalle, the Munch Museum in Oslo, and the curators for realizing the modern eye. The National Gallery in Oslo, the Bergen Museum of Art, and a number of private donors have also made valuable contributions. And I would also like to thank the people of Frankfurt for the warm welcome. I hope we will have the opportunity to welcome you to Norway in 2013 when we will be celebrating the 150th anniversary of Edvard Munch's birth. Thank you. Vielen Dank. <laughs>